Yeah, these have been fun to watch, I'll tell you this. Our inquisitive consumer reporter continues questioning down-home myths. That's right, and tonight Chris Kimura challenges conventional wisdom in the weather world. Here's the shocking truth about lightning. Like this. A positively convincing character. <laughs> Inside the Museum of Science and Industry. My name is Dr. Shock. Is charged up. This is uh, known as a Tesla coil. He gleefully plugs people into. Hold up the wand. The principles of electricity. Join the dark side, Anakin. <laughs> Even I submit to Dr. Shock's spell. You'll have ultimate power. I have ultimate power. <laughs> While well-meaning, I'm not sure shock therapy helps us credibly dispel lightning myths. You do get shocked, you'll only be shocked metaphorically, like, ooh, that's shocking. Not physically, hopefully. Instead, we visit the lightning exhibit and enlist Dr. Shock's boss. Probably the number one common myth about lightning is that it never strikes in the same place twice. Consider the Empire State Building. Lightning strikes it more than 100 times a year. So yeah, lightning does strike the same place twice. A catchphrase off of something that's totally not true. Easterling explains how lightning bolts are blindly attracted to the tallest, pointiest thing in its jagged path. Lightning is uh, very lazy, uh, we like to say. It's always looking for the path of least resistance. When storm clouds roll in... Nature doesn't like that imbalance. People just don't think straight. We figure we're safe as long as we're not directly under a dark cloud. Negative. Lightning can travel 10 to 15 miles beyond a thunderstorm. It's a myth that lightning only impacts a single spot on the ground. Weather researchers found bolts spreading as far as 60 feet after a strike. If you're caught in an open field, some believe lying down will save your life. Wrong. The Weather Service warns the opposite is true. Stand up and keep moving. On the road, conventional wisdom drives us down a misleading path. I am safe in my car because I have rubber tires. We think tires somehow insulate us from 50,000 volts. Now it's true, people survive when lightning strikes cars, but... It's actually not because it stops the lightning, it's because it lets the lightning go through. Easterling explains a car's metal frame conducts the charge, channeling it around you and into the ground. It almost acts like a conductive force field around you. And the tires are the last bit of that. Perhaps these experts have educated. I'm going to do something a little bit more dangerous. And energized you. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Ultimate power. Just don't let it go to your head. Chris Kamora, Fox 13 News. <laughs> Well, Chris tackled one more, too. After hearing thunder, does counting one Mississippi to Mississippi really tell you how far away lightning struck? Atmospheric scientists told him, yes, five Mississippis equal one mile.